Here is a map of the world. Upon closer examination, you can see the seven major landmasses, namely Asia, Australia, North and South America, Africa, Europe, and Antarctica. However, this was not always this way. Millions of years ago, the Earth did not have seven distinct continents. Instead, it featured Pangaea, an extensive supercontinent encircled by the Panthalassa, a solitary ocean that persisted until around 200 million years ago. During the Triassic period, Pangaea stood alone as the sole continent on Earth before it began to disintegrate. Pangaea eventually split into two new continents, Laurasia and Gondwana. Laurasia, the smaller of the two, moved northward and eventually fragmented into what we now recognize as Europe, Asia, and North America. Gondwana, the larger landmass, fragmented into the continents we now recognize as South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, the Indian subcontinent, and the Arabian Peninsula, collectively constituting nearly two-thirds of the present-day continents. Gondwana also underwent another division, a discovery that took researchers 375 years to unveil, a hidden continent lying beneath the ocean's depths, thus becoming the world's eighth continent. How did this continent come into existence, and how long has it remained submerged? Join us as we explore scientists' insane new discovery of a hidden continent under the ocean. Before we start be sure to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. In 1642, Abel Tasman embarked on a determined mission. This seasoned Dutch explorer was convinced that a vast continent existed in the southern hemisphere, and he was resolute in his quest to locate it. European explorers harbored a steadfast belief that this uncharted landmass, which they preemptively named Terra Australis, must surely be present. During this era, this region of the world remained largely enigmatic to them, despite an enduring fascination with it that had persisted since the time of the ancient Romans. With this conviction, Tasman set sail from the Indonesian port of Jakarta aboard two modest vessels. He charted a westward, then southward, and finally an eastward course, ultimately reaching the South Island of New Zealand. His initial encounter with the Maori inhabitants did not go well, as these people were believed to have inhabited the area for centuries before his arrival. On the second day, some Maori individuals ventured out in a canoe and collided with a small boat transporting messages between the Dutch ships, resulting in the tragic deaths of four Europeans. Regrettably, Tasman's expedition came to an end, prompting his return home a few weeks later without ever setting foot on the long-sought-after southern continent. By this point in history, Australia had already been explored, yet Europeans remained convinced it was not the fabled continent they sought. Little did Tasman know that he had been correct all along, a missing continent had eluded their awareness. When a group of geologists unveiled their groundbreaking discovery of Zealandia, it made headlines. This landmass measures approximately six times the size of Madagascar and covers an expansive 1.89 million square miles. The team boldly asserted the existence of more than seven continents, challenging the long-held belief upheld by encyclopedias, maps, and search engines. As we now recognize, there are indeed eight continents, with the latest edition being the smallest, thinnest, and youngest on the planet, shattering all previous records. A mere handful of islands, including New Zealand, protrude from the depths of the ocean, constituting a staggering 94% of this continent's makeup. It had all along been hidden in plain sight. However, this was only the beginning. This continent remains cloaked in mystery, its secrets fiercely guarded beneath a daunting 6,560 feet of water, forming one of the world's largest marine domains upon its eventual revelation to the global community. In addition to New Zealand, Zealandia encompasses Lord Howe Island and Ball's Pyramid, two minor Australian territories, as well as New Caledonia, a French colony renowned for its breathtaking lagoons. Zealandia, once an integral part of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana that spanned the entire southern hemisphere and originated approximately 550 million years ago, occupied a distinct position in the eastern corner. 
This location bordered various other landmasses, including the entire eastern expanse of Australia and half of western Antarctica. However, around 105 million years ago, Zealandia began to undergo a process of separation, a phenomenon that remains not entirely comprehensible even to modern experts. In contrast to the oceanic crust, which typically boasts the thickness of around 10 kilometers, continental crust tends to delve much deeper, often reaching approximately 40 kilometers. Due to tension and stretching, Zealandia's crust currently measures a mere 20 kilometers in depth. Consequently, this wafer-thin continent eventually found itself submerged beneath the ocean's surface, although not quite to the extent of standard oceanic crust. Geologists categorize Zealandia as a continent based on the presence of specific rock types that characterize continental crust, such as granite, schist, and limestone, which differ from the more common basalt found on the ocean floor. Nonetheless, numerous uncertainties persist, rendering the Eighth Continent a subject of great fascination and perplexity among geologists, particularly concerning its enigmatic origins. For instance, the manner in which Zealandia, despite its extreme thinness, managed to maintain its structural integrity and avoid fragmenting into numerous microcontinents remains an unsolved puzzle. Additionally, questions persist regarding when precisely Zealandia became submerged and whether dry land ever existed there. The geological ridges currently above sea level resulted from the collision of the Australian and Pacific tectonic plates, raising questions about who lived on this submerged landmass. Gondwana itself harbored a rich and diverse array of plant and animal life, including the earliest terrestrial quadrupeds and eventually some of the largest creatures ever to inhabit the Earth, the Titanosaur dinosaurs. This ancient supercontinent boasted a temperate climate and spanned a vast territory, covering a staggering 39 million square miles. Given this, one might wonder if the preserved remains of these ancient life forms are scattered within the geological formations of Zealandia. During the 1990s, researchers uncovered the fossilized remains of several terrestrial animals in New Zealand. These findings included the rib bone of a colossal long-tailed long-necked sauropod dinosaur, a hypsilophodon, a herbivorous dinosaur with a beak, and an armored dinosaur known as an ankylosaur. It's worth noting that fossilized land animals are relatively rare in the Southern Hemisphere. In 2006, approximately 500 miles east of the South Island, the foot bone of a large predator, likely a type of Allosaurus, was also discovered. Importantly, all of these fossils were formed after Zealandia had separated from Gondwana. This suggests that these islands within Zealandia may have existed for centuries while the rest of the landmass became submerged, which does not necessarily imply that dinosaurs roamed across the entirety of Zealandia as it is today. According to Rupert Sutherland, a professor specializing in geophysics and tectonics at Victoria University in Wellington, there has been a prolonged debate surrounding the viability of terrestrial animals thriving without a continuous landmass and whether they would have ultimately perished in such a scenario. The presence of the kiwi, a flightless bird with peculiar features such as whiskers and hair-like feathers, has added a layer of complexity to this discussion. Strangely, the kiwi's closest relative is not believed to be the now extinct mole which was part of the same group of ratite birds and inhabited the same island until 500 years ago. Instead, scientists propose that the kiwi's nearest kin is the even larger elephant bird, which roamed Madagascar's forests until 800 years ago. Current scientific understanding suggests that both of these birds descended from a common ancestor that once lived on Gondwana, an ancient supercontinent. Gondwana took an astonishing 130 million years to completely break apart, resulting in the formation of distinct landmasses, including South America, Africa, Madagascar, Antarctica, Australia, the Arabian Peninsula, the Indian subcontinent, and Zealandia. Consequently, it's possible that some portions of Zealandia remained above sea level throughout this process, though the entire continent, and perhaps even all of New Zealand, is believed to have been submerged approximately 25 million years ago. 
It was generally assumed that all animal and plant colonization occurred after this submersion event. However, researchers have initiated deep-sea drilling operations to explore Zealandia's seafloor in an attempt to gather insights. Fossils found in the very shallow sea areas prove to be particularly valuable and distinctive, with countless unique small fossils providing a rich record of past life forms, even though direct fossil collection from Zealandia's seafloor remains impossible. The shape of Zealandia continues to baffle scientists, presenting an enduring enigma. When examining the geological map of New Zealand, two distinct features capture immediate attention. First and foremost, there's a notable plate boundary that traverses the South Island, an exceptionally significant feature to the extent that it can be seen from outer space, and it's commonly referred to as the Alpine Fault. The second is that New Zealand's geology is strangely bent as is the geology of the entire continent. This unique deformation arises from the collision of the Pacific and Australian tectonic plates, which cleave along a horizontal divide. The previously continuous ribbons of granite no longer line up and are now practically at right angles, as if someone had grabbed the lower half and twisted it away at this precise location. That the tectonic plates shifted and in some way bent them out of shape is an obvious explanation, but the precise details of how and when this occurred remain a complete mystery. There exists a multitude of possible interpretations for this geological enigma, yet numerous uncertainties persist leaving significant aspects of this process undiscovered and awaiting further investigation. Uncovering all the mysteries of this continent seems improbable in the near future. When you're contending with depths of 2 kilometers beneath the ocean's surface and the layers you wish to examine lie buried 500 meters beneath the seabed, making discoveries becomes an exceedingly formidable endeavor. Therefore, Conducting comprehensive surveys of such a continent demands a substantial investment of time, resources, and effort. The presence of this eighth continent serves as a compelling testament to the fact that nearly four centuries after Tasman's exploration, there remains a wealth of knowledge yet to be unearthed. We invite you to share your thoughts and insights regarding this remarkable discovery in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.